Hey guys, how you doing on XDSL? <coughs> real, real talk, guys. I'm like, hold on. Well, I just like I add loads of cereal, and I've got like the, the tacky milk mouth. It's, I don't know. I'm sharing this. I've got some tea, but it's too hot. So like, I'm just like, breathe and any, anyway, any, anyway. Uh, Steamworld Quest, Steamworld Quest, Steamworld Quest, the hand of Gilgamesh. Uh, Gilgamesh. There you go. I said that right the second time. Uh, basically, guys, the reality here is that. I've had some real life stuff going on this week, which means I've been home at weird times and I haven't, I forgot to do a video for, t for today because usually the Wednesday video goes on Patreon, right? And I've been, I've been like, I've been literally like, I, I was like, I'm going to play in the hand of Gilgamesh, right? And then I'm going to upload the video the day the game comes out. And it's going to be great. And uh, yeah, I've, I've been, I've been like, up, I've been like all around doing like stuff that was unexpected. And uh, yeah. I, I didn't do it. So we're gonna have a look together now instead of me look <laughs> instead of me looking and then telling you what I think, we're gonna look together and, and I'll talk about my thoughts. You can talk back, I won't be able to hear you because this is a video, not a call. If you want a call, I mean I guess that's fine. Um let's have a look. So we'll go empty adventure. Uh select a difficulty level. Um the easier you'll have an easier time. Suitable for most players. All right, most players. Let's go with the knight. So yeah, this is a uh, this game is. Uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pause this. I move my mouse out the window and it pauses. Uh, this is uh, published by Thunderful, uh, developed by Image and Form Games. You they make Steam World games. Obviously, there's a lot of them now. They're all for the most part pretty great, to be honest. No, in fact, they're all pretty great. Thinking about it. It came out on the 31st of May, so <laughs> it came out five days ago, and I'm an idiot. Uh, it's priced at £19.11 at the moment because it's on promotion to the 7th of June, but then it's priced at £22.49. So far, it's getting very positive, so let's have a look together. Okay. Pretty cool. I like that, like, robotic -y sound. So. It's the first Steam World game to have like the first Steam World game to have like you know plot, I suppose. Hmm. The Age of Heroes. I've watched this intro once already. I've watched this intro once. So what I'm gonna do for you is I'm I'm gonna I'm just gonna do a little bit of a skippy in a bit. I don't know how long it goes on. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Okay, so we'll skip. We'll skip. We'll skip. Okay, we'll, we'll skip that. We don't want the video to be entirely cutscene, right? I mean, that'd be like. Okay. I remember enjoying the cutscene when I first watched it like a week ago. I had the game before it came out. Developers brought in my key had it, like a week ago. Watched the intro and was like, I'm going to play this. I'm going to make a video on this. This could be great. And it's like, no, no, fuck you, Hex. Time gets in the way. Yes. Let's turn it up a little bit as well. Do, do, do. Blah, 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 blah. As if sent on a mission by the ancient gods, our heroes cut their way through Greenfinger's Grove. The smell of hazard and fungus hit them as they searched for the fabled peppermint puffer. I don't know what he's talking about. Will you stop narrating everything? Chapter 3 on the Hero's Handbook clearly points out the importance of visualizing. Visualizing my foot. That... <laughs> That fully illustrated book of yours is a pun-ridden cringe fest. Hey, don't diss the book. Yeah, don't diss the book. She's, I mean, she's the one with the book. That doesn't make sense to me. And by the way, <laughs> are we eating? Wait, wait, robots need to eat. They shouldn't have taken uh, Gally up on that breakfast offer before we left. I like, I like the movements, nice. Tippy toe thing's interesting. Uh, didn't he, he didn't invite us for breakfast. He said he'd rather eat slowly gathering dust in his basement before joining our mushroom hunt. And this mushroom we're hunting is important enough for you to literally pull me out of bed. You can't, <laughs> you can't do real alchemy for the comfort of a bed. Yeah. A few of the professors at college actually tried that. But the rest of them shriveled up over their research in musty, unforsaken labs. There was one professor, though, who literally who really inspired me. Dyslexics shouldn't do this sort of thing, should they? Uh, <laughs> she underlined the importance of actually going out into the world to deploy knowledge practically for the good of many. Today's deployment is about finding the medical peppermint puffer. 
the medicinal that I mean well, that wasn't the word wow there's, there's a lot of dialogue not only is the anti it could also <laughs> hmm you're setting me in the mood for stew we are not making stew look let's just get going okay let's get past that a little bit okay so first of all I, I like the art style straight away um I like the fact he looks like almost like biological. Like, like it looks like he doesn't look like a robot straight away. So you start looking at him and going, oh, shit, it's a robot, which I like. Now, as soon as we start moving around, I've played this bit. Um, the, uh, the the female robot, um, not that can robots have genders? All right, the female looking robot uh, vanishes and you just get to control this dude. Now, whether or not that changes, ooh, tutorial interacting, okay. So we just click on stuff to interact. Hey, this was easy. Time enough to get these cooked up for roosters crows. Unfortunately, these are common brushwood amintas. So we have to peppermint puffer, remember? Um, dang, I do have to think, though. Like, the robots eat. What's that about? Also, they're poisonous. Don't eat them. Double dang. <laughs> he's cute. I like, he's, he's, he's having a great time. Hey! Sword and stuff. Now, I've got to the first fight, which I think is the next the next screen. Hey. Like, I can see the future. Uh, so, yeah. Okay. This is, this is like as far as I've gotten this game. Everything after this, the first punch here is new to me. Gah, more of those bompous poses from the village. Wait a minute. I knew the girl had some flimsy hangarounds, but you're practically rattling around that bulky armor. Aw, did you just call me scrawny? Oh, easy now. I didn't say this armor fits perfectly. Here we go. Okay, so, here we go. This is the bit. Now, tutorial. It's, okay, battles... Thank you. Alexa just decided to talk to me. Okay, thank you. Uh, battles are fought by using punch cards. Each turn, you'll draw up six cards. These cards are represented... Uh, these cards are represent abilities your heroes can use. Cards represent... I don't know. I'm, I'm, I started reading different lines then. It was weird. Um, you can choose up to three cards to play each turn. The cards will be lined up at the top of the screen... When you're happy with the cards you've selected, finish the turn. So no mana or stuff, just three cards, um, by the looks of it then. You prefer you can also select cards uh, and targets by clicking on them with your mouse or right-clicking to cancel. A few alternate options for interacting with your cards will be available by hovering over them in your hand. Okay, so, so we've got, we've got, let's have a look at the UI here. We've got clanky points, some clanky things down here, right? I don't know what these, I don't know what these are. I don't know what these means around here. Now behind my face, which you can't see, I've got ten cards. Uh, and two, there's a two, there's another card with two as well next to it, so I don't know what that means. Um, two enemies, maybe? I don't, I don't really know what that, what, what that means. Um, but we'll get to that, and we've got a health up here, I take it, and there's the three, symbolize the three cards we can play. So, uh, I guess we just attack, uh, that one. And then we will, what's this one? So, bravado, eye for details, okay. Uh, heals armorly by 75% magic, raises her strength. By one, okay. So we just want to we just want to hit him, I guess, because we're full health, All right? So two. Now we can play one more card. So he's playing both those cards, I guess, and then she'll play. How do we know who plays which card? Okay, because he's got a little spanner, so maybe she's a spanner and he's a sword. I don't know, but then that's a sword. Maybe it's just attack and damage. Okay, whatever. Book bash. What does this do? Uh, deals a hundred percent strength, physical damage. Okay, so just yep. So hit him too. I'm happy with that. I think. I got three cogs. I don't know what that's about. So let's go. So maybe that's to max. So you can't get overpowered. It maxes out the damage. Okay, one, two. Okay, I got three cogs back. Okay. Oh, he stabbed me. The fuck. Hey. <laughs> I don't want to be stabbed. Okay, okay we've got new cards now. Strikes, upgrade, and skills. Your heroes can play three kinds of cards. Strike, upgrade, and skill. Okay, there we go. Uh... Strike cards are just what they sound like. Basic, uncomplicated attacks that deal damage to your enemies. Upgrades can em uh, can empower your heroes temporarily in some way. Okay. Um, as our heroes use strike or upgrade cards, they build up steam. Okay, that's that bar at the top. Uh, steam pressure or SP uh, can be spent to play powerful skill cards. Okay, so we need the cogs to play the, 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 the diamond cards. Okay. So that's a diamond card. So we've got three cogs, so we can play three of that. So does that mean if I play one of them? So if I so if I go with the with wait, what's this one? What's this? What's this one? 
What's this, what's this one? I. So it heals him for 75. Okay, so does he need healing? I think he's alright there. So let's just play the bash card against that one. Okay, and that increases the thingy by one. Or flashing means it will increase after this turn, I guess. Um, so that's a skill card. So that's one. So let's play that there. And that should take one away. Okay. So, so we see how the outcome... So this will show us what the outcome will be when we get there. Okay, so at the moment we're... I mean, I guess we're, we're, we're non-up, I guess. So we want to build... So Okay, so this is three. Oh, that might be a better way to do that, actually. Let's, um, let's, let's use the three one. Okay, because that's using all three, and then we get one back, so that might be fine. And we can use three cards, so... Bravado, and what was that one again? Uh, heals him, so we might as well just heal him as well, and then we just go, I guess. Well, that's a nice method, isn't it? I mean, that's a nice way of playing it. So hit, then uses, that's used three cogs, and that gains one cog. Okay, so gain one, lose one, no, gain one, okay. So we only lose one for the Steinman cards. Each strike or upgrade card generates one SP. Heroes have a shared pool of SP. Skill cards are very versatile and powerful, but if you don't have enough SP, you can't play them all. Um, manage your pool of SP wisely. Okay, so this guy needs fucking up now then, right? So, oh, what's this? What's this? What's this? I don't like how I have to move my hand. Cause like, I have to move my hand off the mouse to hit. Oh, it's pretty, you know, that seems a bit... Okay, I'd like it over here somewhere, so I'm all on one hand, but that's a very minor point. Sorry. Um, okay, heroes, uh, physical damage, one foe. Deals 340% strength as physical damage. Okay, well, that seems great. So let, that's two, which is all of it, right? And then we want to gain some. So we'll go to the minor barrier here, uh, and we'll just do hero strike here, and that should generate two. Okay, let's do this. So I like the fact you know what you're going to be left with before you start, and then it just plays it out. I like that. Not that it really... Okay, so that, that's fucked us because he's dead. So does that roll over? Or does every battle start at zero? I don't know. XP. Oh, that's cute. It's nice. Little, it looks like a little cave. It's a bag. I like that. Okay. Easy mushroom pie. Mm, pie. We've clearly stepped into Coglin turf here. Let's just try and get out in one piece, okay? You think there's more of them? Awesome. Okay. It's like hurling a small tornado. Yeah, I don't know the way you only... I want to control her. She's much more interesting looking than he is. He's just a big dude. She's like... She's cool. You got like the tippy toes thing going on. Ah. Uh, our heroes chance upon a relic. A testament to the glorious battles of past. And some long forgotten treasure. Hmm, it looks more likely Coglin loot stolen from unwary travellers. A hero's handbook declares, after beating up ruffians, a fair and square, the champion deserves the proper reward. I mean, that's reasonable. Let's get the proper reward then. Oh, I clicked too fast then. Recovery items. Recovery items can be used to heal your heroes or cure status conditions. They're a good way of dealing with challenges so that you can solve, uh, challenges you can't solve with cards alone, but supplies are limited. You can find recovery items in chests by defeating enemies or by buying them from merchants. So usual usual RPG stuff really. Use recovery items outside of combat by going to the items menu and selecting recovery items. Okay. Okay. Now let's have a think about this, shall we? So I've just had one of those unexpected outings that I was talking about. And I've come back like an hour later and I'm a little bit like more awake now. I'm like I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm all right. And so I haven't exited the game. We carried on from exactly where we've left off. So if I'm a little bit higher or lower energy, I'm sorry. But these are unavoidable outings. It's fine. It'll all be resolved like this week. I'll be back in regular. And we won't have this nonce anyway. <laughs> uh, so. Uh, ooh, let's, uh, let's do that. Okay. Right. So we've got our stuff. Where was we? There we go. We, let's, let's do this. So, yeah, I'm, I'm actually more awake now. Which is like. Actually, I think makes for a worse video. I think the best video is the ones where I'm like tired as fuck. Uh, right. Oh, shoot. More of those pint-sized troublemakers. I'm going to forget which voices I did for each one now as well, aren't I? Um, let's ambush them. The hero's handbook describes just what to do in a situation like this. Yeah, man, I've got three voices. I'm using them all. <laughs> there are two whole pages of diagrams on how to startle a goblin. And we sneak up behind them, strike first, and gain the upper hand. You must realize that regardless from which direction you come waving a sword, that anyone will still startle them. 
Whoa. So you say the method works on anybody. The book is great. Uh -huh. Okay. Beware foes will emerge. What? Beware foes will emerge if you... What? What was emerge? I'm saying the word emerge. Dyslexic should not do this. Beware foes will engage you if they see you. Gain the upper hand against them by pressing the indicator button when they're close enough to attempt a preemptive strike, this will cause your foes to begin the battle already wounded. Okay. Okay, let's try this then. Hey, I think that did it. Did that do it? Okay, what we got here? You can redraw cards in your hand up to two times. Each turn, redrawing cards means that the selected cards will be discarded and replaced. Okay, that's what that logo is at the corner. Arse redraw. Okay, so that's this button down here you can't see because my face is in the way. I don't... My fa seriously, people like my face. I mean, not my face, but they like having someone's face on the screen. I don't think it adds anything. I think it always detracts. Okay, so we're low on health, but we also want to do that. So the bravado is heals armor lead by 75% and raises her strength. So let's do that. Let's do that. Heal that one. Wait. Are they both female? Am I like, am I doing, I'm doing a male voice. Both, are they both female? Oh my gosh, I've got this wrong, haven't I? Well, that's how, that's how she sounds now. Because it says heal Amali, her strength. So yeah, I thought it was a dude. I assumed that robot's gender. I'm, I'm a terrible human. That was, that was, that was bad of me. It wasn't clear though from the start and he looks masculine. I'm, yeah, I've learned an important lesson about this now. That was wrong of me. Uh, right, brave, but there's just another one there. Let's do another one then. then. There you go, let's do that. We can get that, and that should fill up our thing. Oh, we've used two. We've gained two. Oh, I should not have done that. Well, full health now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, stabbed. So they've got two. They only have one each at this level. Hmm, okay. Ah, these are better. So we'll we'll go with one of them. All right, we'll go with one of them. Oh, that's one. That should finish that one off. And then we will use a uh, thing on there. That should do it. That's good. This is like, uh, it's like... There's a lot of these games now that are using cards instead of, like, normal attacks. It makes, I think it makes, like, the battle, the old Final Fantasy battle system feel a lot more fresh. And I think that's, that's pretty cool. Um, you know, it's just basically the same thing, but it feels more engaging because you're moving cards around. Um, yeah, I like this. I'm, I'm a fan of what is happening right now. I think it's, it's good, yes? It's good. Okay, let's go. And what's this? And then we'll... But, uh, magic mana barrier, you're not going to need it. You know what? You know what? Tab to finish turn. We should be fine. Let's do it. Let's do this. Let's do this. That's going to be way more than I need, I think. Boom. Yeah, I was right. Nailed it. So, yeah, that's... They're both female. I really thought it was like, you know, strut armily. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I feel really bad. I feel really bad about that. I don't know if I should feel bad about it. No, I do feel bad about that. It's probably in the intro and I missed it. That's good then, female main characters. Do, 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 do. Do, do. We have too many gruff looking dudes in armor, so it's nice to be a. Yeah. Maybe I should have talked to him instead of hitting him. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, bravado. Heroic strike. Uh, we'll have one of them as well. Burn him. Another one of them should give us one extra cog. For this to turn, I feel like I feel like the animation speed be like needs to be a little bit faster, or this might get annoying as time goes on. I, like if the fight's gonna get longer, this could be a problem. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Ooh, ooh. I wonder how the game's gonna pan out though. It's like, is it all gonna be like this? We're gonna have an open world section. I don't know. We'll have to find out. Uh, bravado. Ooh, okay. Hmm. No. Let's see if we can just build up everything. Build everything up. We're only building now. So one. One. Two, three. Okay, so we, we start off good. Okay, so we've got four cogs now. Okay, not terrible. Not terrible. Does that last one turn or is that like ongoing now? Okay, so we can start that off the bat. We can do that off the bat. There you go, look. And then we can, uh, we can just do one of them as well. Yeah? Okay, so that should leave us in a good place again. Yeah, that's a nice skill. Does a lot of damage. Or, you know, from my understanding of how this game works so far. That does seem to be persistent as well. Good. Tenacity. Okay, uh, all right. That's good. Again, we're just cog builders. Just cog builder skills. Wait, what? 
How did I get that up then? Oh, okay, you can just click. Okay, you can click on the card rather than hitting I. Okay, so we'll give him more shield. Does that does that add to that, or is that cumulative, or does that just like replenish it? Let's find out. Only, I mean, this is the only way to find out, right? Oh man, use the skill any? No, okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Open that. Found a steel bracer. Okay. You found an item. So you found an accessory item. Before it'll do you any good, you must open the pause menu and equip the accessory. Okay. Open the pause menu. I don't like escape for menu. Escape should always be back or exit. You should never bring up an in-game menu. All right? It's just my thoughts. Equipment. Like you could have just used tab for that or something. You know, or I. Okay. Accessory, nothing. I'll steel bracer. Accessory, nothing equipped. All right. Page up, page down. No, I'll just click it. I don't have page up and page down buttons. Nothing equipped. Nothing equipped. Okay, that's good. Uh, back. Yep. Okay, and items. Do we have any healing items? A, a repair vial, like times two. So we'll use that one there. And use that one there because you get your health much lower. Okay, so right click is always back. That's good, I suppose. I like this little map thing here. Can we click on this and see where we're going? No, we can't. So where do we go now then? I guess we chose the wrong turn back there. Do, do, and then down here. So yeah, so far I'm quite impressed with this game. Look, Copernica. That's cool. Even the goglings have raised statues over Gilgamesh, a true um, ancient hero. I can say American hero then, fucking hell. A true ancient hero. The majestic pose, the pride of the greatest deeds oozing from every cut of the chisel. Uh, those statues are literally everywhere. Of course, they are. Gilgamesh saved our kingdom from certain doom. I bet it was a big old faker. I bet that's the... Oh, that's this, this like, in the past, you know, time travel. I don't know. I'm trying to predict the plot that doesn't exist. Uh, he defeated huge, snarling bear moth, tore out its evil heart with its bare hands, and... And you can relive that moment in your hero's coloring handbook. Mm. At least goglings know how to appreciate the heroes of the past. Unlikely. They they seem to be more into piles of garbage and lumber held together by yarn. Okay. These faithful majestic homages to the ancient heroes serve as a good place to sit down for a while and rest. Approach the statues to save your progress. Okay. Interacting with it to restore your hero's health. However, be aware this will respawn all these by enemies. Okay, that's cool. So I just click on that and that's it. Yep. No, yeah, that's saved now. Okay, that's cool. Oh, there's that mushroom I want, probably. Okay. This is quite like a dungeon crawler, but it doesn't feel like one because we're outside. Wait, can it be? The shroom. The peppermint buffer. It's even more majestic than I could imagine. Success. Smells like peppermint. It will be like eating breakfast, dessert, and brushing your teeth all at the same time. We're not going to, you know, you know what? Let's just grab it and get out of here. Okay. <laughs> just like the grinding gears of endless time, our heroes halted to catch their breath. With their peppermint perfume prize in hand, they redid their swords. Hands off. This peppermint puffer will clean out the mold from the funnel in the old well. We're helping the entire village. You need you need to dry it in the whole piece to extract all. Like dry it in a whole piece and extract all. Oh, you know, words. <laughs> Did you hear that? It can't help it. This sweet crisp scent makes me hungrier by the second. Okay. I don't think it was your belly. Oh. Well, shit me. Oh darn. Whoa. I know what you're going to say, but I imagine how much stew we could. Oh, wow. It's like looking at something. I'd love to like be the miser. I look at something. I'm going to eat the shit out of that. I'm going to eat that. It looks like a, this looks like a little dick. Like, what's this about? His leg. Oh, I thought these were his... Oh, they're his arms. Okay. I thought, I'm going to assume that's his thing. My mushrooms. Who dare steal Gomfer's beautiful mushrooms? Easy there, chief. We're just here to pick up some of these. Unsuspecting innocent shroom. Ravengers. I'm not a Ravenger, I'm an alchemist. 
Gomphus doesn't care. Gomphus will teach you not to plunder nature. That's a good lesson. We're the bad guys, essentially. Well, there's got a bit. Music's got a bit rocky. Okay, tutorial elements. Damage. Uh, damage comes in five elements: physical, fire, forest, storm, and arcane. Frost, storm, and arcane. <laughs> a card's damage type is shown on the card. Some elements have natural resistance or weakness to certain elements, and some cards can raise or lower elemental defense. Uh, use the right element to maximize damage you deal. Okay, so how do we know what? How do we know what? Okay. I don't suppose it really matters. We just go hit him for now, I suppose. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's just hit him. I like the fact we always get three. It's kind of like clean, you know. It's like you're not like you're like you're not like trying to maximize. Yeah, it's it's all right. It's all right. Do, 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 do. Okay. If one of your heroes fails to zero health, that hero is scrapped. If all the heroes become scrapped, game over. The card belongs to the scrapped hero. It becomes useless, and the space in your hand. Make sure you redraw those cards. Ah, huh, so is it? How do you know which ones belong to you? Just the artwork. Scrapped heroes can be repaired after each fight, but health is otherwise not restored between fights. You can heal. What can be repaired after each fight? Okay, so health is not restored between each fight. Okay, during a battle, certain cards are tricky. Visit a hero statue or recovery item to restore health outside of combat. Okay, so I think we're gonna be right here. So let's. Uh, Let's get the weaker one with the shield on. Let's let's uh, smack that in there as well, and then let's do that. We're, we're saving these cogs now, so we'll draw out some power cards and just use as much as possible as fast as possible. So she's gonna get there. You go. She's back up to maximum health essentially, which is good. She's squishier, I assume. And then she's uh, gonna get okay slapped. Okay. Oh, okay. There we've got that that more powerful one, which is good. And then we'll also use this one. And we'll also use this one. There you go. There's our three cards. We maximized that. We got like the heaviest attacks we could possibly have there. Which is good, I think. I think it's good. I mean, he's got 610 health. That's a lot of health. You've got to play smart. I like it doesn't reset the animation and go back in either. That's cool. Warcry. I don't know what that does, though. Okay, cool. We've got one of the... Oh, man, that's a three card thing. Okay, so we're going to go boom. Uh... Boom, and then maybe we can. Oh no, maybe we can use that one. 20. 10 times 3. That's 30. Okay, is that because. No, that's, that's not the one I want. I want to use that one then. That one's more. Okay, so that one damaged 80% as fire to one foe three times, right? And this one does. Oh. No, what this one does. Uh, heals. What well, deals 170% damage as fire. So yeah, this one's actually like. Wait, no, that one. This one's actually more. That's the right thing to do then. The, the, the targeted one is stronger. It's fine. He's got three. He's got three cogs. Don't want that. Yeah, you got punched in the dick. Oh, I don't, it doesn't look a dick when he lifts his arms up. It's a shame. Ads. Fuck. MMO logic. Okay, so let's do. Uh, let's get rid of eleven and let's get rid of that one. Oh no, let's get rid of that one. And then let's fire that one. And that should at least, that should finish them off whatever happens. The ads should be gone now. Boom, gone. Okay. And if he, if he doesn't crit, okay. So if he, if he had failed that for some reason, then it, this would still have finished it off. So this move is, yeah. That was not, I think that was a reasonable strategy. Poison, great. I love it when games when there's poison. It never annoys me. Okay. Status conditions. Some cards... Inflict status conditions. These are negative effects that linger on the target for several turns. For example, poison takes the victim damage at the end of each turn. Unfortunately, most conditions go away on their own after a few turns. You can review the list of all. Okay, blah blah. blah. Okay, so if we barrier him, does that help? I don't know, honestly. Um, let's bravado himself as well, and then let's just do an attack. Or uh, let's, let's try that then, yeah. Maybe that'll be alright, because barrier him. At least he's going to have more health if he gets attacked now, and if he uh, wears down separately. A little bit of heal, and then, yeah, that wasn't a bad move. Oh, fuck, now this one's poisoned. Okay, it's not a lot of poison, though, so it's not too bad. Uh, bravado again. I guess we just go attack. Attack is the strongest things we've got. Yeah, should have probably saved that for if there is three. Mm, not sure that was a good move, but whatever. 
Turn in night health. It's fine. We're going to be fine. Oh, status effect says two turns. Okay, so that one should go next turn. So, mana barrier him. Her, sorry. Uh, attack that one. And hero strike. And leave that one too. That uses all of our things up. So, let's do it. So, attack. Hit our heal. Then attack. And then attack. Yeah, I'm feeling good about this. I feel like we're doing alright. The health swap's still up high. Call for... Okay, that's the multiple attack. So, we, we, we want to deal with that now. So, okay. So, we want to deal... Uh, hmm. So, we deal with that. This prop... This is a bit hard to target. Look, if I move my mouse around a bit too much. Target snapping is a bit of annoying. A bit of an annoyance. Uh, eight is not enough to finish that on its own. Uh, but we need to finish that on its own. So, we need to finish them. Okay, let's do this. Boom. Okay, that's it. Okay. The other metal stuff hasn't kicked in yet, I don't think. It just seems to be a non-issue. Do that. And then another one. Okay. I just killed your babies. How does that feel? It's very nice artwork on this. Like, like, I know that it's about the bots, but like the artwork on the on the creatures is really nice. Okay. So, I've got that's a multiple attack. Should have, It would be nice to have that now, to be honest. And uh, minor barrier self because she's low on health, so that's fine. Okay, this uh, reminds me. Like, I know it's vague and it's it's like tangential, but like Slay, it's definitely got Slay the Spire elements, and it also reminds me of um oh like what's that dungeon game Night something Night Dungeon Dungeon Crawlers? No, not Dungeon. Anyway, it reminds me of that game Dungeon something. Um oh wow um Dungeon I don't know. The dungeon game. This is reminded me of it. Not, not just because of the art styles and the way the, the, the way things are. Uh, I guess we'll just hit you with two of them. I guess, and then we'll hit you with. Uh, we'll do a barrier on him. Her. Ooh, keep doing it. Uh, let's go. Robot. Ah. Barrier. There we both got good health now. Look. War cry. That's not an ad. So I've got to do 50 damage now in order to take, in order to make this work. So, uh, 37, 37, 11. I mean, that should do it, right? Boom. Oh, yeah, we, we're good. We're good. We're good. We done it. We done it, Lake. We done it by following tutorial and learning stuff. We done it. Achievement unlocked. <laughs> Grow locally. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, so now... Okay, what's happening now? Ah, didn't even break a sweat. I accepted into the guild in no time. You let I let you tag along to the forest, and you turn it into a freaking fight club. Just say fucking, just say a fucking fight club. Don't. We're all grown ups. Come on, just, 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 just have a fuck mode. Have it so you can just turn on swear words in the options. Hey, you want an experienced, uh, experienced nature hands on, right? I say if we stuff our bags full of mushrooms and get back to the village. Okay. I read, I, again, I butchered this. The things I do for learning. Yeah, nice, nice, nice back and forths. Not too long. They're yeah, nice. After a refreshing stroll to the forest, our unsuspecting companions make their way home to the village uh, of Goose Bucket. All in good time for some help. Okay, well, I think this is like enough for the video, to be honest. I think like, we've got enough. I would like to see what happens now that we'd like how do we deploy for the next mission. A village of Goose Bucket. Okay. I'll turn. I should turn it up for you guys. Hang on. Not that it's made much of a difference for the looks of it. That's why I've told you a million times already. You should never stroke a duck against the wind. <laughs> cute, but it was, <laughs> but it was cute and fluffy and a wagon, a fluffy wagon duck. I like the dialogue. Oh, this is a shop then, yeah. Whoa. I've never seen a wagon like that before. I wonder whose it is. Uh, was that there earlier? It wouldn't hurt to have a look, I suppose. I, I'm going to guess this is a shop. Hello? Hello? Anyone in there? Maybe they're out. No, it's definitely a shop. Oh, that's nice. It's a robot. Beaky robot. That's nice. Hmm, a knight errant knocking on an old woman's wagon this early in the morning. I'm sorry to disturb you, we're just curious. You're totally a wise old woman, right? Oh, 
Do you hand out quests? Because I'm more than ready for... Uh, no, no. I'm, I'm afraid I'm just a plain old traveling shopkeeper. And the shop is not quite open yet. Ah, we've been on a mission from the ancient gods and we, we've been picking mushrooms. Excuse my friend, we, we didn't mean to bother you. Oh, oh, it's all right. In fact, sort of a merchant would be if I didn't leave without a small sample. Again, I'm butchering this dollar. Uh, tribute from the wise elder. Okay, so we've got new cards. Okay, new cards. Lower foot strength, okay. And uh, deals 120 magic as frost damage. Okay, so. Hmm, okay. Just the thing for a pair of young go-getters. Such as yourselves, I should think. Farewell. Be sure to visit my shop in town later once that ruckus is over with. Okay. So I'm really interested in how we redeploy. I'm really interested in how we redeploy in this game. Like, like is it going to be a town area then we go out the quest or is it an open world? Um, what a nice old lady. Yeah, she did. What did she mean by ruckus though? Okay, tutorial. Deck building. You received uh, a batch of brand new punch cards. <laughs> nice, that's cute. Because um, they're punch cards, but they're also punch... Yeah, mine, it's fine. Um, <laughs> to use them in battle, you need to pay a visit to the deck building screen and put them in the punch deck. Try going to the pause. I hate this term pause menu. It's like, I don't I don't like this term. Put decks. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. Decks. Uh, the deck building screen lets you edit your hero's punch cards, uh, decks, the folder container. Yeah, you know what? That seems fine. On the right side is the hero's deck of cards in battle. You can add cards to the deck by selecting them in your folder and remove cards. Okay, that seems fine. Each hero must have exactly eight cards in their deck to keep your deck up to date. The key is being successful in battle, so sure you check the screen. Everything. Okay, so this one's got eight cards. So in order to add these cards, I've got to remove some. So, um, creeping cold, 14. So that's 14, and it's a star skill. So these are all, so all the skills she's got here, well, these skills require things. The book bash is a builder. It's like build. So this one, these two here build up cogs, and these two, these three use cogs. So we want a nice balance of the two, I think. An eight of eight. So flame war is quite good, right? But it's a high cost spell. So let's swap that out and try this one for now, and then let's see how that how that goes for us, right? Because I can release really, I suppose I could remove one minor barrier and add. If I remove one minor barrier, I could add in. I can add that back in, which gives us eight again. So let's try that. Let's try that. Uh, okay. Oh, um, I've got an achievement for playing around. Can't argue with achievements. I like the fact I can play it with what with a mouse as well. I just don't. I don't really need to interact with the keyboard, which is quite apart from the pause menu, but. Bet there's an on-screen button. Yeah, there's an on-screen button for that as well, so. Yep. Destroyed stuff, getting gold. Okay, I think... Oh, wait a minute, something's not right. Where are those guild hero types who are supposed to watch the gate? You mean the ones who laughed at us and said, don't get lost in the forest? Maybe Master Gaines summoned everyone to the guild club. Once I get my guild membership, I'll honor the code just like Gilgamech, and I will strike down injustice with fire. Damn right, sparks will fly if anyone so much as tries to. No, no, look, some smoke, something's burning. Um, hurry and find out what's going on. Tutorial speed up, hurry up, you can control. Uh, you can use the controls shown below to move faster while exploring battles. We'll move fast. Okay, so there is a fast forward. Okay, left shift to speed up. Is there also a button, on screen button for that? So left shift. Okay, left shift. Left ship, shift, all right. Okay, so just save the game, right? You know what? This video is already really long, right? So I'm gonna stop it there, and we're gonna we're gonna find out what that happens. Maybe I'll do. This. In fact, you know what? It's just save the game. I'm gonna exit now, right? And I'm gonna come back on stream because I think that this would be a good like this would be a good start, and then we can carry on this on stream. So yeah, we'll do that tomorrow night on stream. So if you're watching this on on the day it comes out. The stream will happen on th on Wednesday, Thursday. There you go. So yeah, good stuff. Uh, thanks for watching. I've been Hex. You can support the weird things I do over on Patreon, and that really helps me out right? because I I keep this video ad for this this video I keep this channel ad free. So if you like watching the videos and don't like ads, you can support me on Patreon. And I'll repurpose your spare money into video games and pizza for me, which is which is you know my motivation. But yeah, this game this game's good. I like it. I really like it. It's kind of like it's kind of it's kind of 
a very base RP, like a very basic RPG with a little bit. It's kind of yeah, it's kind of not got too much going on, and I mean that. I just hit my mic. I mean that in a good way, you know. It's kind of chill, so yeah, I like it. It's 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 cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.